Famous for his provocative yet pioneering works of art, contemporary artist Jeff Koons will be showcasing two attention-grabbing sculptures right here in the heart of Florence. The towering more than three meter high Pluto and Proserpina, noted for its peculiar resemblance to Gian Bologna's Rape of the Sabine Woman, will be on display in Piazza della Signoria a few short steps from the David copy. This is the first time since Baccio Bandinelli's Hercules in Caicos 500 years ago that such a massive original sculpture has been placed so close to the facade of the Palazzo Vecchio. I'm so thrilled to be here in uh, Florence and uh, I'm grateful that I was invited because of the biennial, the antique fair, and uh, the mayor Nardello, uh, along with uh, Fabrizio uh, Moretti, came up with the idea that uh, you know, let's have contemporary art uh, during the fair and let's bring Jeff Koons. So I'm thrilled. I, they could have chosen so many different artists, but to have uh, Pluto and Proserpina here in the company of Donatello, Michelangelo, uh, Cellini, uh, John Bologna, I mean, it's, uh, it's beautiful because what an artist really wants is to have a dialogue with other artists, to make connections. And, uh, you know, this is the most connected I've ever felt. And it's interesting because when, uh, you know, the sculptures like Donatello were presented here, uh, the sculpture of Judith and Halifernes was actually gilded. So it was completely uh, reflective in the color gold. And parts of uh, Michelangelo's uh, David were also uh, gilded, the stump and uh, uh, other uh, parts of the piece. So to have Pluto and Proserpina in this very reflective, uh, yellow color uh, in the uh, plaza, it, uh, it's almost a tradition of this and something that we would have noticed uh, 500 years ago. Inside the Palazzo Vecchio, home to Florence's municipal offices, the attention-grabbing gazing ball Barberini Fawn will stop visitors in their tracks. Positioned in the Sala dei Gigli, this provocative piece created in 2013 is part of a series of plaster casts of famous Greco-Roman sculptures to which Koons has added a symbolic blue sphere. Art has really affected the lives of the, the average person here in uh, Florence. So uh, it's, it's a way of looking at the world. There's an openness, there's a curiosity, there's a, a parameter of, uh, of consciousness of what life can be. So to be participating in that and receiving the, the keys to the city was so special to me to feel like part of this family where art you know is a way of life that you can continue to become you know art is something that happens within the viewer you can look at an amazing sculpture amazing painting and it's a transponder it excites you but the actual art is the perception that you have of your own possibilities your own expansion of your interests so uh, art is always involved with this uh, dialogue of letting uh, you uh, expand your parameters, continue to become. So I don't think that uh, an artist can do anything just to be provocative or to stir things up a little bit. That never lasts very long. But if you're always honest and you follow your interests and you focus on your interests, it takes you to a very metaphysical place. And that's where you find art. That's where you find uh, things that connect you to the universe. The exhibition is a rare chance to see Florence's Renaissance masterworks by the likes of Donatello and Michelangelo juxtaposed with envelope-pushing contemporary pieces. The works will be on show until December 28, 2015. I think art is uh, always about increasing your parameters and it's a, a vehicle to let you accept yourself and after you have self-acceptance you can go outside yourself and accept others. And that's the journey that art takes you.